they sometimes if you can see this is my first time because we're gonna have a lot of notes but in future <laughs> we can share with our heart you know so we we really excited to hear from the next sharer um she is very happy to share her age <laughs> she is 41 next year wow. but if you see her you'll be very amazed with her this year this year, oh, this year. Oh, this year 41 I already Okay, wow. Oh, already. Life starts at 40, but yeah. life starts at 80. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me just share a bit about her. Uh, she, um, what few minutes before the meeting starts, I was asking, tell me about yourself, Rina. So we actually haven't really talked about her past. So I actually tell her, what exactly you are doing last time? So he said, actually, I'm a Thai Thai. Wow. So we have a lot of different people around here. We have people who actually really have luxury but they have no time for themselves so i told her what actually attract her in the business she said <laughs> they wanted to talk right okay <laughs> okay so basically i was uh, she was said she was sharing that she has no time for herself because she actually owned um, a saloon shop by herself she actually do stylish and do makeup artists so her time with her three children are really limited so the, the business really attract her a lot because of the time that she has now with her children anytime she wants because the kids are growing up. She has three beautiful children, very, very smart, very respectful to a lot of us, you know, always giving us a hug every time we actually meet them. Okay, so um, let me just introduce to you uh, Miss Rina. Rina, come. to be up here giving my sharing. I'm 41 years young. What goes up never come down is my age. But the energy that I have now at 41 is the same as I had when I was 25. Wow. So I'm able to keep up with my children. Yes, um, doing rock climbing, doing all the crazy things. Which I think is not the children who want it, but I want it. <laughs> like, this is my dream, you know. I want to skydive, but I will, I'll make it happen before I reach 50. Okay, um, how I started the business? Well, I have not been working for the last 10 years. I got married at 28. I had my first son at 29. I had the second one at 30, and the third one at 32. So at that like, point of time, before that, <laughs> rewind, I was a hairstylist for, for since I was 19, 20. Yeah, I worked on my own. I had my own salon. I work eight hours a day, standing on my heels. Yeah. Wow. So of course, I, I was not in my hijab. I had purple hair, blue hair, green hair, you name it. I have it all. So I, I tell myself, okay, enough. I don't want to work in this line anymore because it takes too much of my time. So my, my focus was raising the children. So I used to bring my children to the salon while, you know, I need to breastfeed. I tell my customer, you wait first, I leave first. <laughs> so they were very patient. They waited for me and, and I moved. I moved to Thailand. I raised them there and I relocated back here in 2011 when Dean has to go to P1. Well, my partner, I sold my business. My partner called me and said, can you come back? to the salon. I said, no, I've been there, done that. I don't want to repeat that cycle again. So that 10 years raising them, seven years to 10, raising them in, th in Thailand, I had that life of a Thai Thai. I don't do nothing. All I do was go high tea, go wash hair, go do nails. By the time I come home, well, the nails all cheap, maybe in the soup or in the salad, I don't know. <laughs> so it was like, I'm so bored. I mean, this is not my lifestyle. I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I used to work, I'm a worker. You know, so I decided this is not the kind of life for me. I want to go back. In my heart, that desire, that passion, I want to go home. I know I'm taking that big risk, but I don't give a shit about it. Sorry for my <laughs> I just want to go back. And I said, your future is so important. So I bring them back here. And I was still not working, still doing my Zumba. <laughs> don't know what I want to do, you know? So here my up 
declined Rosanna who prospected me <laughs> ten, 10 years ago she coached me I was with another um, company health company and my dad three kids was that H babies you know <laughs> three kids and I said oh I can't but at that point of time I need something different I had took that product for like you know 2003 it first opened until 2013 I stopped that was like 13 years I'm very loyal <laughs> <laughs> you know? so I switched to 2014 I took H lock I think I don't need right <laughs> <laughs> locked <laughs> so I took until today I am so happy and I could give the time to my children. Being a parent's volunteer in school, the teacher can call me, you know, for anything that I can be part of the school. If I were to work, if I were to go out and say, oh, can I take leave? Probably my boss would say, mm, you know what, you've been taking so many leaves, huh? I think you better go lah. <laughs> there the exit. Please take your way out. So I decided this is it. I can spend time. It's a lifestyle I want to sell. And I'm literally selling myself. Because I want to empower another woman to be just like me. They don't have to be me. They just have, they can be themselves. But they can better better their lives, better their family lives, and for their husband to see that their women are capable. Mm -hmm. I always tell mothers, love yourself first. Because you are replaceable. Because, yes, as mothers, if anything were to happen to you guys, the men will just say, you know, my children need a mother. <laughs> Who's going to raise them? Not me, definitely I have to bring the bread and butter home as I mean a uh, soup breadwinner. So I think women, we are uh, we should you no, know, we must elevate ourselves. Yes. So yes. The men they say there's the head of the family, but the woman is the neck. <laughs>